So I've been messing about with the mount on my camera. Um, it did come with a mount this, but and it was okay if you got it in the right position. But I wanted a bit more flexibility. So what I did was I ordered basically what was a converter to a GoPro mount. It's a tripod um, fixing. You can probably see there, and uh, just screws on. Now there's three or four different pieces came with this mount. Um, I don't know if it's standard GoPro for different angles. And I had it on the ride the other weekend through Wales. I had it sort of stuck out away from the helmet. I have to screw my Bluetooth unit on there. It's coming a bit loose. So, um, so what I've done is I've actually moved it in a bit closer. Whereas it was stuck out another few inches. Um... The knob on the uh, the top knob here, it's uh, for some reason I've got to really really screw it tight to get it to fix the camera at the angle. Uh, I don't know why that is, so it's a bit butchered as you can see. But I've got a spur one. But anyway, it seems to be holding uh, okay. So I'll give that a whirl. Um, it's a bit closer into the um, the helmet than it was the other weekend. Uh, and of course I've got the mount there for the uh, the Drift Stealth which you know does good footage when it's working but no microphone facility, no vlogging facility so uh, I'm going to give it a try hopefully a bit later on, it's just started raining again unfortunately, so I'm going to wait for it to dry up probably before I go out so uh, yeah hopefully this reincarnation will be a bit better coming back a bit now now this is a particularly stupid junction this because in order for you to get out of it you've got to go in the opposing traffic one way or the other so it wasn't really designed uh, very cleverly really I don't think So, uh, yeah, I found my back brake was uh, binding last night coming home from work and I've had some pads fitted on the MOT and when I looked at the uh, brake caliper and had a look at the pads the whole thing was dry, it didn't look to me like anywhere had been cleaned out or lubricated or anything it just looked, there was a just like bit of rust on it um, So, um, yeah, just uh, me, me brake uh, squealing a bit. So, yeah, it was bone dry. So, I had the pads out. Just the pins up. Lubricated the pins. And, uh, generally took the cut off them so I don't know how things are working out really at the moment so it's a bit of a brake test as well the front brakes seem to be all right the back brakes seem to be a bit unusual but I suppose that's to be bedded in again I suppose I don't know whether they're binding at all, so I'm going to have to have a look really. Look at this, this is fucking, this is absolutely terrible, pardon the French. Absolutely atrocious. There should be, I don't, I don't think there was any warning about that. I'm going to have a look back in my video, but there wasn't any warning that I could see about the road surface. Just get my speed down here, it's uh, knocking off time for a lot of the local schools.
So yeah, don't really expect the bike to come back with the pads changed if the calipers bone dry and no signs of being cleaned up. So a bit disappointed. So anyway, speed camera on the right. Uh, I thought I'll take them out, clean them up with some brake cleaner, cleaned up the pins, put the things back in. The difficult bit was getting the circlips in. But anyway, I'm hoping that's solved the problem. So I'm just really taking this out for a bit of a bit of a bed in really. See how they are. Brakes do seem different. But whether that's different in a bad way or different in a good way. I've yet seems to be bedding in a bit now. Yeah, it was raining a little bit about half an hour ago and I nearly didn't go out but I thought, go on, I'll go up. So sometimes the problem is when you commute to work, I think you can lose the pleasure in riding. Um, so that's probably why I like to go out on my days off. Just usually off with a few other people on a day like today, but to do this. Schools are knocking out here so just see what's going on. I always bedlam around these places at school's time. Whatever happened to walking at home, walking at home, oh lovely. We've become a bit of a lazy society haven't we really I suppose, a bit lazy. Which is what happens to us. Sports day on there, the looks of it. Yeah, brakes are coming back in a bit now. On the rear, I don't know if we just need adjusting and bedding in a bit. of a railway uh, viaduct. So, talking about the cameras, I'm using the SVC 200 here and uh, you can probably see I've got the stealth mounted on where I have the, uh, the SVC 200. So uh, it's worked out in the end, I think. Now two cameras. What I have to say, I'm really impressed with the uh, TCL SVC 200 for the price. Can't beat it. And certainly, what it comes with is the uh, everything else you pay for as an optional extra with the other cameras. It came with loads of mounts, even with remote control. Well, the remote control, I think, for the Drift Stealth, I think I paid about £25 for it. But with TCL, it comes in a box already. So, you know, worth thinking about if you've not got an action cam. But they're quite rare to get hold of. Um, they have them on eBay. Um, I don't know who actually imports them, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of them about.
So I'm just going to have to take it steady really. Um, just harking back to the brake situation. Um, put two sets of pads on here the other day. Uh, I got actually I got two sets of price of one, which was pretty good really. Got them from Demon Tweaks. I just looked where the best price was, and they were the best price. So that was great. Into the bus lane. 